Greetings everyone. I just want to walk you through how to access some student data. So I just happened to pull up the last calendar, the last grade book that I had open. And I just want to show people how to pull uh, these data from your grade book and make them into an Excel file. You can do that while in the grade book setting. So if you're in another spot, you can just go to main or uh, grade book main. And while you're in main, you're just going to want to click on reports and just toggle from, you know, whatever the default is when it opens to print the grade book. You'll want to create it as an Excel file so that it's workable and not a PDF. I'm going to use student ID number, so I have to blur less out. And I'm just going to run that report. Now, when I have that in Excel, there are a couple things I need to do before I start working with the data. And the first thing is, is just delete those first two rows. Uh, and then the second thing is, is just select all, control A on a Windows device. You can do the same thing by selecting this upper left, right above one, just left of A. And you're going to right click somewhere. And when you do, you're going to go to format cells and you're going to make them unchecked for merge. So just make sure that that's unchecked. This will make it a little bit quicker. Now, when you're looking at data, a lot of times people just want to sort who got a zero on a standard, who got a four on a learning target, a benchmark. And to do that, if this is the one that I'm most interested that I want to compare with my colleagues during CT, a quick way to do that is to put your cursor anywhere in that row, excuse me, in that column, and then just go to the data tab in Excel and then just click A to Z so that it's going to descend, meaning that it's going from A to top and Z at the bottom in that order. And you can, of course, zip that around. Now, the nice thing is, is that those data then carry over. You'll see these numbers in column A switch so that they're sticking with it in case you want to uh, reference that. So let me know if you have any other questions on how to use those data. Good luck, everyone.